what's happening? Happy Saturday, or happy Sunday, actually, to you. Oh, man, it's a beautiful morning here in Colorado. I just did a modification to my 1976 Fender Jazz bass, and I'm going to let you hear what it sounds like. Um, I had uh, previously this instrument when I bought it, it had a set of old active EMG pickups in it. There's nothing wrong with active EMG pickups. In fact, I have them in at least six or seven other instruments. I love them. But for this bass, I paid a lot of money for it. It's a vintage instrument. I wanted to make it sound more the part. You know, I wanted to put it back to more of a vintage kind of a, a character and personality, tonally. So my friends at Nordstrand hooked me up with these wonderful pickups that are vintage correct um, split coil pickups. They're noiseless. So what you have is two coils that are vertically stacked on top of each other like this. And uh, as a result, there's no noise. You know, typically with a passive jazz bass, um, when you put it on the back pickup with a single coil, it's gonna buzz like crazy. And as you can see, It's dead quiet on the back pickup. Dead quiet on the front pickup. So, mission accomplished. Now, let's hear what it sounds like. This is both pickups in the tone all the way up.
the tone up to about halfway. Rear pickup only. That's a Phil Jones rig, which sounds wonderful, especially with passive instruments. Okay, so now we're in the Mesa Boogie tube amp. taking this vintage jazz bass back to kind of that vintage place that um, tonally that um, I think that it deserves. And it's kind of the reason why I have this instrument. If you have a jazz bass of any variety and you're tired of the noisy rear pickup scenario, you know, oh, here, let's check this, you know, while, we, while we're at it. You know, I've got it on the back pickup right now. And... You know, it's dead quiet. So that's one of the big things about um, what always kind of bugged me about j uh, jazz basses in general with passive pickups. I love the tone, but I really despise noise. I just can't deal with it. Um, you know, some guys I know are like, yeah, that's the noise. That's what's cool. That's what makes it cool. Not me. Um, all that does is, is, is bother me and mess, mess things up for me. So um, this is, has worked out absolutely perfect. And now this instrument is just the way that I want it to be. So I encourage you to check out these pickups, you know, um, and do an upgrade on your instrument if, the, if you're kind of after uh, kind of vintage correct jazz bass tone, but without all that noise. 
All right, friends. Have a great uh, rest of your day, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.